So what's the exposure gonna be like here? Am I gonna be making a lot of money? It's very profitable for everyone involved. Full crew, editing, works. Listen, TV's out, the internet, that's in. And no better studio on Staten Island than us. Not even Manhattan compares. All right, I'll give it a shot. here for an hour name I come here every week it's Paul do you manage produce or create content I create you can wait in there thanks hey hey been around often yeah, here, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I just got into content creation, actually. It went, uh, went viral on Facebook. It's pretty cool. Sure. Got you into the business. Um. I need money. Cool. Yeah. Good for that. Rolling. Good evening. Welcome to another episode of Painting with Paul. I'm Paul. Tonight's episode, we're going to be doing another landscape, this time of a beach. As you can see, I have beach colors. Let's get started, shall we? So we want to get a blue backdrop for the sky, and then we'll paint over it later. So now that we have some clouds, let's start a horizon, a little bit of sea colors. So now we're gonna put a layer of sand down. I'm gonna mix up some browns and some gold, but mostly gold. It's kind of dirty sand, kind of like Staten Island sand. Those beaches are filled with all sorts of unsavory things like needles and plastic bottles. So we're going to put some trees into our beach, because why not? Maybe one branch goes almost off into the canvas, into here. We don't know where that is. Finally, let's put a little path in here. First, we're going to make an outline. I used the wrong paintbrush, but sometimes we have to just roll with things. As you can see, we have our beach. It's a little quirky, but that's good because sometimes things don't turn out like you think they will. And that's part of the process. I'm gonna paint my name here now. You don't have to if you don't want to. This has been Painting with Paul. Good night. buying this anyway. It's all one massive act. A scheme. Hey everyone, if you like that tutorial, please leave the video a like and subscribe for more content. Today we have some uh, prescription and non-prescription vintage Jan bands. These are the non-prescription ones. They're by Dr. Dave. And uh, use the promo code when checking out Painting Paul. 
caps lock, one word, P-A-I-N-T-I-N-G-P-A-U-L, and save some money. Thank you for watching. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey. Good thing I ran into you. I almost forgot to pay you. Let's see. Hold on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You know what? Here's the rest. Listen, 50,000 views this week. That's pretty good. Keep it up. You get more of that. Great 50, job. 50,000. Yep. It's a penny a view. Yeah, I used to work at a, a realtor's office. Never thought I could make money juggling on the internet, but it pays, so it's good for that. There you go. It's a great hat you got. Thanks. Good evening. Uh, welcome to another episode of Painting with Paul. Uh, tonight we're going to be doing a landscape uh, of a mountain, but we're going to use untraditional colors uh, for it. I feel it's important uh, to let the audience know at home that you don't always have to copy what I use. You can use traditional colors if you want. Um, I'm here to show you the technique, so I'm going to do that for you today. Let's get started. As you can see, I have three different types of blues and whites that I've blended together. But that's not important. What is important is that you're having fun watching this at home. I'm using yellow for the mountain range. Now valleys are usually green. Let's make it pink. Get in between here. We can use green on a mountain range. As you could see, maybe the snow would be white. Why not black? As you can see, we have our landscape here in untraditional colors and patterns. It's important for the viewers at home to know that if you use different colors, you can make different types of landscapes or anything you'd like. I hope that gets across to you people at home. Till next time, I don't know. What am I selling today? We got this. Give it to me. Look at it. Take yeah, one. Yeah, I got it. Okay. This has been another tutorial video. If you liked it, like it, whatever. These pills are a cure-all concoction of vitality and masculinity. There is no better supplement filled with essential oils and minerals from rare fish and crustaceans. I take them every day, and to be honest, my blood feels great. Eat pill. They're by the famous Dr. J. Um, they're really good, and they're for your health. So, good night. I mean, I know you're not working Friday night because I have your schedule. I mean, we can go down to the city and have dinner. You know, I mean, if they're going to go to Lacey, it's a pretty good place. A lot of different people around there. Just... Hey, Paul, right? Yeah. Hey, hey, listen, man. You're fantastic work. I've seen you work and you doubled your viewership. So, all right. I think you should open up a gallery and get a little more of this. Right. I also think you should stay in the you should stay in the studio and bump up your productivity, if anything. Nah, I'll be alright. That's fine.
What'd you do before you knew you could make money painting on the internet? Um, we went to art school and uh, learned how to be a painter. And then uh, struggled, <laughs> and now uh, I'm here doing this hmm. with you. Hey, that's the end of another Hot Food Boy Challenge. And I'm your host, Miggy Hot Fingies. All right, and that's it for today, gamers. I've been Waffle Stomp. Remember to comment, rate, and waffle stomp that like button. Well, that's been it, ladies and gentlemen. It's been your boy, Stevio Sativio, coming at you live from the underground of Staten Island. We smoke it legal, not legal, whatever it is. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in to another Anisa Bar on Anisa Bar video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. <laughs> if you want more of that, go on my website, chickenfingerblasting.net. Finger licking delicious! My Patreon. For $5 a month, you'll get access to my email newsletter where I'll be posting updates on when I'm posting videos, the day I'm posting videos, before anyone even knows I'm posting a video. You can follow me on my podcast, The Wake and Bake, with you blunts and breakfast. Follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, Facebook, whatever you want. It's every fucking week. I'm sick of it. I can't work like this. Hey, I'm Pete, and I'm gonna juggle for you. Available for birthdays. Weddings, Saturdays with the family, our mitzvahs. I only ask for a square meal and fifty dollars. I also do a lot of drugs. Oh, Pete. Hey, come on. Cool. Let's do it. Yep. Let's see it. Hey Paul, how are you? My name's Chris. I Chris. heard about the gallery today. You haven't posted in a while, so I, I really wanted to come check it out. Thanks. It looks good. I'm gonna check it out, but uh, I made this painting for you. You made a painting? Yeah. I don't know if you recognize it, but you made it in one of your videos. Did so I? I, I based it off of you and... You're Chris? Yeah, that's me. And me and you, you know? Technically this is your painting too. You and I. Yeah. So uh, take well, a look. I'm gonna you. take a look at these. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Oh, yo. Hold on a second. Paul, oh, Paul, oh, Paul. Oh. What's going on? Your viewership sank. You dropped the ball on your content. What's going on with it? <laughs> Dude, what what are you doing? Bro, come on. Get back on track. We can't be here all day. You wanna get the white to shine. And the black. You know what I don't What does that do? Well, who is this for? This is fucking terrible. Why are you doing this? Alright, I'm fucking up, done. What is that? What the fuck is that? Did you even listen to me? Did you Did you put him up to tell him to do anything? You did. I did it. He did it himself. Who is this for? What am I supposed to do with this? Who is this for? Seriously. Who is this for? What are you doing? Get up. Why are you sitting on the floor? Get the fuck up. How am I supposed to st stop it? How am I supposed to sell this to a fucking sponsor? Go away on the floor. Everybody's going to take and take and take and take and take until you're fucking fighting over this business. And that's how you should treat people. I am a fucking strong man. 
a strong mind in there. I act like it, and I am it. That's how you're supposed to be. I am filthy. I am dirty, because I have to be. I am disgusting. I will be the filthiest motherfucker you ever meet in this business. And you trust me on that, okay? Where are you going? Where are you going? Do any of us know how this works? How to persevere in art? How to like, how to comment, the criticism, the judgment? Because I'm not really sure anymore.